Hi friends. Oh, I wanted to come on here and share a brief message with you. I um I watched a video tonight um and I, it's a fellow I've watched quite often and he was talking about the rapture and lockdowns and for some reason I got really sad thinking about my daughter and my granddaughters and my son-in-laws and my daughter-in-law and all of those that I love and how I'm concerned that they don't know Jesus and they're not accepting him and I just I don't want them to go to be separate from God, from his love, from, you know, from having joy and peace forever, knowing the beauties of God, you know, being in darkness. And it just made me really sad. And I was crying lots, and and then I I asked the Lord. I said, "Can't you show me in your Word that if you have a plan for them, if you if you are going to keep them from the pit of hell?" And <laughs> thankfully, we have a wonderful, wonderful Father. A wonderful Savior Jesus Christ that whenever we are needing comfort and needing him to show us something that I don't know how to say it exactly but I asked him and he brought me to uh, Job chapter 33 and I'm just going to read the verses that he showed me with you, share it with you. Uh, just give me a moment here. <laughs> so I'm going to start 33, verse 8. He keeps back his soul from the. Oh, I'm sorry, verse 18. <laughs> he keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed, and multitude of his bones with strong pain, so that his life abhors bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. Sounds pretty gruesome. <laughs> Yea, his soul draws near unto the grave and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him and says, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. And Jesus is our ransom. <laughs> His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy. <laughs> For he will render unto man his righteousness. He will restore to him his righteousness. He looks upon man, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not. He will deliver his soul from going down to the pit. 
and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man to bring back his soul from the pit, <laughs> to be enlightened with the light of the living. So I read up to verse 30, so I am just so grateful and thankful to God, my Father, to Jesus, my Savior, my King, my Lord, my everything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if, if I should be gone from this life and my loved ones are left behind without me, that I can be confident of this one thing, that God has them in his hand and he will be their comfort and, and he will lead them into his salvation you know, in his timing and his promises are wonderful and I'm going to stand on that promise and I hope you will stand on that promise about your loved ones as well and keep looking up keep seeking Jesus keep holding on to him with all of your heart and keep praying for your loved ones and he, he hears it all and just be blessed I pray that God will bless you in everything that you do and if you don't know Jesus I pray that you will come to him today Take care, friends. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.